So in my stand-up, I used to talk about, I called it grape, gray area rape, which is, you know, it was a way of bringing this up in my stand-up, Shave Carrots, trying to make, um, make people laugh while they learned. And it was really me saying, um, you know, we're, when we hear about rape when we're children, and, and we're being warned about it. It's about a guy popping out That's from right. a bush while and you're dragging in the park. Him into the bush. Right. Yes. And some villain, they don't say, it's probably going to be a guy you know really well. It could be your husband. It could be your friend. Um, and so and so you think when, some, when that happens to you, you say, okay, well, this isn't, this isn't someone I want to see sitting, rotting in a jail cell, but what he did to me was wrong, and I didn't consent. And... Um, and for me, I lost my virginity while I was asleep. And that's not okay. So in my stand-up, I would say, if, if she's asleep, that's a no. Just hoping that a couple of guys would see that and it be met in that moment and say, oh, no, this is a no. I heard it in the, somewhere. Not only lost your guys, you lost your virginity mm -hmm. when you were asleep, but you're on the sofa, on the bed, wherever you all yeah. were, and you wake up and he's penetrated you. Yeah. And then you don't feel okay about that. He no. obviously doesn't feel okay no. about that. The first thing he said was, I thought you knew. I didn't say anything yet. Yeah. He said, I thought you knew. Yes. Yeah. Now, what's interesting about that is that you then were feeling bad for how he would feel the yeah, next day. Yeah, he was my boyfriend. Yeah. I loved him. I had to comfort him. I also felt really angry which um, was something I, it was just a feeling I had. I felt really angry at him. And it's, it's like a, a rage that has stayed with me. I don't think you lose that. And, um, you know, as, as women, we're, we're really trained not to get angry because mm -hmm. that makes people uh, dismiss you right away. There's sort right. of no place for that anger. Mm -hmm. um, but but I, I, I felt... I wanted to comfort him because he felt so bad and he was so worried and uh, just pu tried to push my anger down. And then you did have sex with him. Yeah, then eventually, yeah. I mean, yeah. we were together. Yeah. 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 It, it was, um, you know, and then, and people hear a woman say that uh, she was sexually assaulted. And it's, I think, nine times out of 10, people's first reaction is to doubt the woman. It's just something that men and women do. We think, well, wait, what was, what happened? Yeah. We need, we, we're gonna decide if you consented. And with the statistics of, I think it's one in six women yeah. gets, is sexually assaulted, well, those statistics don't match up. If right. one in six of us is raped and you're doubting all of us, Who's, who, where are the numbers matching up here, you know? Would you define it differently now? What happened to me? Yes, would you define it as rape and not grape? I, you know, there is the desire to label things so we can store it somewhere mm -hmm. and put it away, you know? What was that? But I... I don't, I, I personally, I feel like I lost my virginity through rape. I didn't consent. We hadn't discussed it. We weren't there in our relationship. We weren't at that moment. Um, and we talked about things, you know? We, we were open so with each other. So it felt like also deep betrayal. Yeah. Deep betrayal. From someone who I really trusted. Yeah, yeah. 